All right, people, we're back on the road and well, we're getting closer and closer to the path of glory, CPV, and um, one of the main talking points going into um, this set on the road, the continued race to try and get into the eight-man goblet for the international title. One such competitor who wants to get into that desperately is Brandon Wolf. And he is really being held back. And just crippled on every sense. By Sebulba and those on his payroll. But of course, he's got back up in the form of another individual who wants to get into that international title picture. that ladies and gentlemen is Gregory Andrews let's talk about what we've got coming up for this set of episodes on the road of course we have tag team action that we're gonna see here which we will see Gregory Andrews and, and Brandon Wolf they're gonna take on the European Union of course Gregory Andrews has some scores to settle with the European Union following the attack that was made on him following his victory over Blaziken on hits Gregory Andrews fucking pumped up as always and well, Brandon Wolf and Gregory Andrews they continue their run-ins with them alongside JSR in this ongoing issues with Sebulba and those on the payroll two of which are the European Union ME and Vince Ford people we saw on hits Brandon Wolf pick up a win over ME only to be assaulted by Dasan and Sebulba here is Vince Ford and of course I know full well that um, Sebulba is going to have Pretty big expectations of um, the European Union this one, though. He is personally staying out of this matchup, and he has told Dasan to stay out of it as well. Um, I should state that we will be seeing Sebulba in action later. Let's tell you what we've got coming up just as this match kicks off, and it's right away Brandon Wolf on the attack. As we've got here, tag action seeing Brandon Wolf and Gregory Andrews taking on the European Union. Following this, we have an international title gauntlet match qualifier. We will find out the third person that will join Zavok and Johnny Gat in the gauntlet. We will see Guile, Miss Motone, and the Wildcat. Then a tag action that will see um, Zavok in action. Teaming up with Zinyak, double Z. They're going to be taking on the Deadly Saints. Of course, following what happened at the beginning of hits, Double Z might be looking for a bit of payback on that. And then finally, we've got ourselves another tag team match that sees Zoloark teaming up with Sebulba. 
to take on Reptile and the Arbiter. What's really that one? Of course, Zoloark and Reptile have their um their stink face match at um the Path of Glory CPV. Actually done there by Vince Ford. So Borba, of course, will be looking to try and get into this international title gauntlet. And the Arbiter, he'll be preparing for when he takes on the Dark Society alongside Jack Stanbridge. They'll be defending their tag gold in that one. Nice done there by, by Vince Ford. Of course, Dark Forge and Matthew are still on suspension. And they are on suspension until the Path of Glory CPV itself. Close line there. Now, that boot to the stomach. Vince Ward doesn't want to go down too easy. Brandon Wolf and Gregory Andrews both competed on the YTA. Of course, it was Brandon Wolf that would win the YTA. Gregory Andrews participating on it twice, making it to the final vote both times and then being eliminated. Of course, at one point in his first season, Vince Ford was his pro. Of course, participant on the YTA himself, and ME, a winner of the YTA. We have got four YTA competitors and probably you know I guess I have to say probably the best four ever to come out of the YTA I mean you look at Emmy when he first came here pretty strong underdog and even defeating his pro Mewtwo in a matchup Vince Ford seen as the just the rocketing underdog when he was in the YCA. He got eliminated early for a screw job. Was brought back and nearly won his way back into the YTA. He would lose in the final, but then gain a contract at the following CPV. And a splash there by Brandon Wolf. Gregory Andrews, he's participated on two YTAs. Like I said, he made it to the final vote both times. Both seasons, he was the favourite. And of course, Brandon Wolf. Same season as well, last season, but Gregory Andrews was also in. Brandon Wolf really, really just showing all of the expertise that Mewtwo was able to give it. Crossbody there. That's, oh! See there, Vince Ford. Well, it's a bit of an interesting figure that every single one of these guys has had some sort of connection to Mewtwo. Other, well, sorry, except for Gregory Andrews. His major connection was with Austin Yuhaz. See now, try to cross body there, that didn't work. Oh, that chair shot! To Now, the chair of Gregory Andrews. And there we now. Oh, look at Vince Ford. Ow. Oh. Brandon Wolf now started to turn it up. Something tells me he's going to want to try and keep ME as the legal guy. Now, check this out. Double team. You see that Vince Ford tried to get in and he does so. Look at this. He's just going after. No! Oh! Going after Gregory Andrews, but quickly gets taken down by Brandon Wolf. And out he goes. Now, oh! Right now, referee gonna try and get some control of this one. Easier said than done. A drop kick there by Emmy. 
Now, oh, Brandon pushing back at it. Oh, he gets caught EDT! And now a cover, but the ref distracted! Wouldn't have been a free card either way. Now! Nice, he done that by Brandon Wolf. And look at Vince Ford there! Vince Ford tries to run in and he gets the Howling Wolf! And now! Oh boy, I think it's Eddie's turn! Yup! And a tag is made! And now it's Gregory's turn! Take a look at this! No! Oh, that back break up! Brandon Wolf continuing the assault on Vince Ford Duela! One! Two! Three! That's it! Brandon Wolf and Gregory Andrews score a very impressive win! And here's how Derailer City for ME.